Hello. Uh, it's been a while. I haven't made a video since the Halloween one. And um, there's definitely, definitely a big update, and you can see it right here, is that I'm using a webcam this time around. And that's something I decided to, to get um, for necessity for other things as well as this. And it's working out pretty well. It's not a DSLR quality, but for me to do that would cost a lot more money and would be a lot more complicated. And my primary thing isn't really shooting videos anyway. Um, it's something I do as a side project. I do it when I want to do it. I do it when I like to do it. I do it on what I want to do it. And hopefully it's what you want to see as well. Um, so that being said, oh, I did promise um, something very exciting. And it's something very excited for me to be able to um, use a new lens which is great. Uh, I went and I got myself a Christmas present um, I got, was it, a couple weeks ago. And it's the Irix 15 millimeter. Now this is an ultra wide angle lens. It does a lot of cool things. And one of the things that it does is it does astrophotography really good. And this is the Blackstone model. Um, it's made out of all metal, which is great for durability. Um, they, they make another one that's called the Firefly, and that's made out of plastic. And just for me, for durability, resellability value, uh, I'm still getting used to this camera position. I, ha I have to keep it this way, but that's I don't want to talk about that right now. Um, but... It's got a nice locking on the Infinity, and this one is calibrated good. I've read that you got to watch your calib. You can get a model that's calibrated funny. Um, maybe that's one that people return and because they after they tried to calibrate it, they I don't know, but whatever. I got one that was properly calibrated. So uh, I got a few things in my background real quick. I got the tree all decorated, ready to go for Christmas. Fantastic. Got a few presents over there as well. And eh, there's probably some things that I haven't really talked about much. Like my uh, Thundercloud, um, my Thundercloud neon sight sign. I like it. I like uh, shooting the sky. It's one of the, my favorite things. So why not get a Thundercloud? One of my favorite things. Let me go under the tree. I got to get something. I'll show you really quickly. Kind of excited about this. I got this for my my myself for Christmas, which it's an Aluma scarf. And who makes this? Oh, Shinova. Aluma scarf by Shinova. And I'm not sure if there's any more left, but it's a scarf and it's got LEDs in it. Takes watch batteries and it's got constellations on it. It's really cool. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be wearing it around all the time. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. It's definitely something that you wear to attract attention. So it, it's definitely a conversation starter. It's definitely like, what is that? Kind of like these glasses, by the way. And if I didn't mention why I'm wearing these, um, I usually wear these when I'm on the computer. It helps filter out the blue light. I get migraines uh, from all the light. And these help tremendously um, for um, reducing my headaches. And that's a good thing. So, I got to test this out. Yeah. But not now. Th that was like the luckiest shot ever. So, <laughs> that was great. And I got it on camera. Anyway, um, so you're in for a treat if you watch this video. Um, so, it's my Christmas tree again. interesting <laughs> all right so um yeah one of the things that that lens actually does really good it uh shoots you know good good wide area and it shoots stars real great and i didn't all shoot these with that lens oh here's my background if you like my background i made that myself and with the wide angle with the irx lens actually 
but it needs a good good deal of lens correcting because um, the deal with that is it's got a lot of vignetting okay and so around the edges like right here it'll get really kind of dark and it'll be fuzzier around the edges so you get like the middle right here is your best best focus best um, best everything best best exposure best details so it kind of compensates for that when you put it through the um, the Lightroom or the the Photoshop Irix um, filters. Let me show you some of the star photos I got, and these are I would consider these experimental. Don't look at these and go, I see star. I see plane trails. There's plane trails. They're right here and they're right here. I could edit them out. This isn't a final edit. Um, I like it. I think it's cool. I. I kind of have these two test photos that are my favorite. It's kind of, it, and they're taken very similar times. They're edited a little different, but they were shot at different exposures. You get a good detail of the ground in this one too. And there's a pumpkin, there was a pumpkin out there in, in the field, which is kind of interesting. Let me reduce that. Let me just do it by 400. But anyway, uh, you see the Pleiades right here, really nice and very good and in focus. And I stacked these photos. I think maybe I took about 50 of these photos. That's what I've been doing. That's why I haven't been around. Um, in my extra time, I've been doing this as well as other things. But just for just for um, here's sake, I've been working on my astrophotography a little bit and some of my wide angle things. Um, definitely been testing out that lens. Love it so far. It's great. It's a great value. It's manual focus. That's the one thing that it might turn some people off. I like it for close-ups. Sometimes a little difficult, but the, for, for, the, for the most part, everything is usually in focus on that. It's usually in focus on the infinite just because it's such a wide lens. But if you come up on something really close, then you gotta you gotta focus and it's any like any manual focus you have to do um you know you have to work you have to know how to focus well but it still works with the camera's uh sensors so if it's in focus it'll it'll beep and click and that's just um what is that the building wildlife man it's, i live really close to that so i was there just doing a few things with that lens testing it out so let's see see what I got here oh if, if you saw the great um, Jupiter and Saturn um, were together for the first time in a long time and you'll never see this of it again in your lifetime unless you live to be 900 years old so check this I think it's around 900 I didn't look it up recently um, right here's Jupiter right here's Saturn okay I don't have a telescope I understand but there they are. That's the best I got with, with the lens I had. I don't think this, this one was done probably with the kit lens, I believe, because it has a 105. But I did a few at 250. Uh, I attempted at 1600, but it's not a very good lens. So let's see what I got here. Jupiter, Saturn. Yeah, this is this was, this was um, Jupiter and Saturn closest right here see how close those two are it's pretty amazing um like i said if you missed it you'll never see it again and i'm sorry i didn't mention it i've been i've been so busy uh, i just i just got these by the skin of my teeth that day i wanted to do a kind of a video on it so let's see oh and here's one i got a little more zoomed in but a little brighter little too bright actually it was taken like really shortly after sunset so the, it's getting like heavy reflections but you can see that right there you see that you see what i see that's a that's a um it's actually not a planet it's a moon um some of those moons are pretty big that's one of um jupiter's moons not sure which one it is but it's one so this is these are some of the best photos i got of that like i said i don't have a telescope right now uh, i sold my other one because it was too um, too cumbersome for me to use at the time. I think it was a little too advanced for me. Um, but yeah, maybe one day I'll get a get a smaller one that's easily movable. And I have too much light pollution um, right here where I am. So if 
I were to take it in and out. Um, even with that, it just it just wouldn't it wasn't practical. So I, I need something more more mobile for for um, where I live, basically. So the last thing I'm gonna do in this video. Oh, I already selected a little bit, and um, with this, I kind of you know I'm not sure where I'm gonna go with this, but it's a. Maybe we'll put a little bit of the white vignetting around the edges. We don't want it grainy. I like to put some noise reduction on these just because it makes it smoother. I'm not going for a realistic look. I want to go for a painting type with this. More artsy, so we'll do a lot of noise reduction. Let's see. This is uh this was just done on my camera phone. I do a lot of these on my camera phone. So let's add the enable lens corrections and we get that middle pinching you see how the middle gets a little pinched you get a lot of that especially like um you know you get barreling on the wide angle lens which will mean things like i said and that's what i mean when i said like things will get sharper around the middle and you know with any, especially with wide angle lenses that's um it's a big issue to to consider and to work around definitely i've been um, working around that for the past weeks with the IRX, but I, I love it so far. I love it. If I had to rate it now, I'd give it a nine. But I'm not completely done with it. So let's see. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna end up um, probably finishing this, putting this up as you know a holiday, a holiday um, hello, holiday thank you. And that's really about all I got for you right now. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful holiday. And I'll see you soon. Thanks.